Hello, I'm Laura Heritage. I'm the Director of API Strategy at SOA Software. In this short video, I will show you how to achieve end-to-end -end monitoring with SOA Software and API Science. I will start off with a brief explanation of what I mean by end-to-end -end monitoring, and then I will give you a brief demo of what I call API Provider Monitoring and API Consumer Monitoring. If you would like a free trial, you can request one at SOA.com. To achieve end-to-end -end monitoring, you need to monitor from two different perspectives. The first perspective is the provider view. This is the monitoring you get out of the box with API management platforms such as SOA softwares. You are able to see real-time performance issues, inspect transactions as they flow through the gateway, have visibility into quotas, and get alerted when policies are triggered. This provides an excellent API provider view of what's going on with your API program. But you really need an API consumer view. This is the second perspective. This is what API Science provides. It allows you to create multi-step monitors and model how your developers actually use your APIs. And then these monitors are geographically distributed across various locations around the world. Let's take an example. Let's say you have a customer in Vancouver who is experiencing excellent performance. Then you have a customer in New York who's experiencing very poor performance. Your API platform tells you that, you know what, nothing's wrong. You have excellent performance. How do you determine what's going on with your customer in New York and then improve your customer satisfaction? This is exactly what API science can allow you to do and help you actually pinpoint the problem before the problem gets out of control. SOA Software and API Science have partnered together to bring you end-to-end -end monitoring integrated into SOA Software's dashboard, providing you with both provider and consumer monitoring from one location, allowing complete visibility of your API experience. Let's take a look. What you're looking at here is SOA Software's developer portal, and we're looking at a particular API and its monitoring metrics. Uh, as you can see, you can see the, the throughput, average latency, and errors that are occurring, and this is happening real time. Uh, you can also see all sorts of other types of metrics such as usage by app, usage by operation, top API. You can filter this in many different ways such as right now we're looking at the sandbox but if we had a production uh, environment to find we could switch over and actually monitor that environment. You can also monitor the, the different versions of the APIs. I have two APIs going uh, 3.0 and a 1.0 at, at this particular time. But as you can see, what's important here is um, the, the throughput, average latency, and errors. Now this is what's going on from a provider view. We're getting an average latency on this PETS API of 156 milliseconds. That's what's going on right now. And we have other charts and, and logs that we can uh, look through and inspect. For example, the charting, you can get even more detailed as far as successes and faults and, and span different time frames. Again, this is a, a rolling history of what's going on. You can export and print this data. Um, but for logs, you can go in and inspect individual transactions to figure out why some calls took uh, a lot longer than others. For example, this one um, call to the backend service was 565 milliseconds, which is way outside the norm. So you can go and inspect um, the request and response messages. We also have the ability uh, to look at uh, licenses, which is uh, what, from a SOA software perspective, our product offerings of our APIs, allowing you to do quotas and, and billing and, and things like that. Now, going back to um, the overview, and we saw that, well, now the average latency is 185 milliseconds um, because of the time that has elapsed in, in some of those outside the norm uh, calls. This again is the provider view. Let's go see what our consumers are actually experiencing from uh, an API science perspective, from the API consumer perspective, I should say. Now I've got monitors predefined in API science and I've registered those monitors with my developer portal. I've got three of the monitors here, get dog, add dog, find pet by status. Let's take a look, what we're seeing here is get dog, but let's take a look at find pet by status and see what the average performance is. 
Now the performance is actually pretty good. It's uh, it's matching what our API platform is saying. Our API platform was between 156 and what was it 168. So it, it's experiencing about the same um, experience from the the where I have the monitors deployed in in API Science. So everything looks pretty good. I've got a hundred percent uptime um, availability history. As you can see, it's been very good my daily uptime, my weekly uptime, performance, and so forth. Now I've used API Science's APIs in order to build this um, widget in our developer portal. And very easy to use, um, very robust, so I could build even more graphs and more data um, if, you, if you want to. So API Science has great APIs. I know I have a, another monitor defined uh, 427 in API Science and I want to add that into um, my monitors that I want to to uh, view my external provider monitors and that was a find by order ID and you can see this this uh, um, resource was was actually down on uh, November 7th. It didn't have a hundred percent uptime now let's go take a look at the AdDog monitor. AdDog is a unique monitor because it is a multi-step monitor. Now we can see the results of the monitor here, right? It's, it's, had, it's had great performance. But if we want to get more detailed information about AdDog or actually execute the monitor or actually make a change to the monitor, we can go right into API Science by clicking on AdDog and we're in um, API Science. As you can see, it is a two-step process. There is a post and a get. Um, you can also see that this is, monitor is run from Washington, D.C., and it is run on a frequency of every 30 minutes. And that concludes our demo. API Science has a lot of wonderful capabilities to monitor your API from an external consumer experience. I encourage you to go take a look. Thank you for watching this short video. If you would like a free trial, please go to SOA.com. Thanks. Bye-bye.